We're off to Africa to meet one of nature's coolest looking creatures. Check out our 10 top zebra facts. Now, you watching trending channel. Before we beginning, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's go. Our planet is home to three different species of zebra. The plains zebra, grevy's zebra, and mountain zebra. All three species are native to Africa. The most common species is the plains zebra, which roams grasslands and woodland of eastern and southern Africa. The grevy zebra can be found in dry, semi-desert areas of Kenya and Ethiopia, and the mountain zebra lives in mountainous and hilly habitats in Namibia, Angola, and South Africa. Closely related to horses, zebras have thick bodies, thin legs, a tufted tail, and a long head and neck sporting a short mane. And their most famous feature, their brilliant black and white striped coat, of course. So, why do zebras have stripes? Well, scientists aren't entirely sure. Their stripes perhaps serve to dazzle and confuse predators and biting insects, or to control the animal's body heat. Because each individual's stripes are unique, their stripes may also have a social purpose, helping zebras to recognize one other. Zebras are constantly on the move, for fresh grass to eat and water to drink. Super stealthy creatures, they'll travel thousands of kilometers in search of green pastures, where they can fill their bellies and quench their thirst. Zebras are social animals and live together in large groups called herds as they migrate to new feeding grounds. Super herds may form consisting of thousands of individuals. They may team up with other grazers on their travels too, such as antelope and wildebeest. As elegant and peaceful as they are, don't be fooled, zebras can be aggressive animals too. Stallions fight for females with piercing bites and powerful kicks that are strong enough to cause serious damage and sometimes even kill. Within a herd, zebras tend to stay together in smaller family groups, made up of a dominant male, several females called mares and their young, called foals. When they are between one and three years old, males, or stallions, leave to join bachelor herds, all male groups, where they stay until they're old enough and strong enough to compete for females.